Just look at the disaster that is energy policy under the Labor government. I mean, Chris Bowen is being shown to be both a coward and a con man. In my very strong view. Under Chris Bowen and Mr Albanese, Australians need to understand you are heading towards... Morty sickness, reflux, unbearable agony, stitches, and after all that... Energy poverty. They promised cleaner energy, uh, Steve, with their renewables only experiment. Well, guess what? This is a rolling farce of an alleged policy. It's actually just a scam. With some Australians now paying in excess of $1,000. And let's talk about consistency. Well, Mr Albanese, you need to stand up and advise Australians under your renewables only energy policy, when the sun stops shining and the wind stops blowing, how do I turn my lights on? It's not okay to question. How do I turn my lights on? Someone's got to call it out. Under Labor, Chris Bowen is both a coward and a traitor in my very strong view. And uh, today I'll make this point. Uh, that Mr Albanese doesn't seem to understand that energy security, Steve, is national security and they are compromising Australia's national security with their bizarre, I, mean, I just don't even understand it, renewables only approach. And that, why, that is why he stands condemned today. <laughs> and when Labor and the Greens look at, well, where are we now going to make up that um, money that comes into government because we've destroyed our mining industry. Well, the Greens have said half a trillion dollars. Uh, they are coming after the mining companies and the Australian people. Um, Australians need to wake up. Greens and Labor, again, energy poverty, we're heading down that path. But more than that, what services do you want cut? Because under Mr Albanese and the Australian Greens, you destroy our mining industry, you attack them, there's only one outcome. Money doesn't go to federal government. Federal government has to say to Australians... It's an example that this government just isn't up to it. Perhaps Mr Albanese will deliver me the cheaper, cleaner, consistent energy. That is just fairies living at the bottom of the garden. As I said, life wasn't going to be easy under Mr Albanese. <laughs> More and more Australians are finding out. But that's a good thing that people can see. That, that under Mr Albanese's experiment with Australia's energy security, emissions under Mr Albanese's government are almost 1% higher. That is a fact. Australians are not getting the cheaper energy Mr Albanese promised them. He lied to them, basically, didn't he? Yes. That's my style. I hope you've noticed that. And that is going to be Australia's reality, Steve, if you vote back in Mr Albanese or worse, Mr Albanese and the Australian Greens. And if you're not convinced yet of that, I think I'm going to be unlikely to convince people if they're not convinced with all the evidence. There's only one outcome. We need a better government. We now have, without a doubt, a liar in the lodge. This is a man who is not a leader. Leadership begins at the top. Mr Albanese has shown with his backflip on the census question. Last week, he had his ministers out there saying, well, we can't go down this path, it'll divide Australia. He was lent on by the Greens, he was lent on by a few backbenchers, and this week, oh, well, sorry, I'm doing a backflip, and now we will have that particular <laughs> question. It does not oh. matter who leans on Mr Albanese because he does not know what he personally stands for. Australians need to understand he will go whatever way the breeze is blowing and that now filters down to the people in his cabinet, his ministers and the Australian Labor Party. With Pauline Hanson. No, what do you get? You get someone who is principled. And I stand by my morals and my principles. I will fight for the Australian people. But more than that, you know what Pauline Hanson stands for. And that is the leader that Australia needs, not the insipid and weak Anthony Albanese, who does not know and shows it every day what he stands for. That is dangerous, Steve, a dangerous place to be. But it's also dangerous to have, for Australians, a weak 
leader. He is weak, he is gutless. His true character has shone through for all Australians to see. He is a weak and impotent Prime Minister. I obviously have security uh, with me at, at all times and, and I sincerely hope uh, that in Australia that can continue.